Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You're not <laughs> done with your sandwich. Hey, Mia. Come up here closer. Can't see you. Okay. Good morning. Today is July 2nd, 2020. And the gospel for today's Mass comes from St. Matthew. Still, we're still reading St. Matthew. Today we're going to read from chapter 9, verses 1 to 8. So, after entering a boat, Jesus made the crossing and came into his own town. <clears throat> and there, people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. At that, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why do you harbor evil thoughts? Which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowds saw this, they were struck with awe and glorified God who had given them such authority, who had given such authority to men. So this is another beautiful um, story of a miracle um, that our Lord performed for a paralytic. But what was strange about this is that our Lord did not immediately perform the cure, the cure for his physical condition. Right? It, was, it was very obvious why people brought this man to him. Right? They wanted uh, Jesus to uh, cure his physical ailment. But Jesus, being God, saw through the soul of this person. And, and he prioritized the cure of his spiritual ailment first. Before the physical ailment for which the people who could only see the physical ailment, the sickness brought this paralytic to Jesus for. But Jesus had a different priority. Jesus knew something else that everybody else did not know and could not see. And what is that? That the soul of this man needed some cleansing, needed some repair, needed some cure. Now, the lesson we get out of this, this uh, story is that, you know, man is composed of body and soul, right? Man is a very nice, uh, integral composite of spirit and matter, body and soul. But in this composition, there is a hierarchy. There is a hierarchy. One of these is superior to the other. And what is that? Eh? If man is composed of body and soul, right? this story tells us that, well, uh, there is a hierarchy in this, in this combination. And obviously Jesus here gives us the right priority that the soul the soul is of a higher priority than the body the concerns of the soul 
the spiritual concerns, the spiritual welfare of man is of a higher priority than the body. Okay, that is, that is very clear from this, uh, this story and this miracle. And we should understand that. That is what Jesus is trying to teach us here. We should understand that, that there is a hierarchy of things. There is a hierarchy in our own uh, humanity that we have to attend to the needs of the soul first and foremost before we even bother with things that relate to our material welfare. It doesn't mean to say that we would not care about our bodies and our physical well-being. No, Jesus doesn't say that. Right? Uh, in fact, he cures the ailment of this paralytic. But, but Jesus wants us to understand there is a hierarchy and we need to prioritize the, the needs of our bodies, I mean, the needs of our souls over the needs of our bodies. Many times we forget this priority. Many times we forget this hierarchy. In, in the course of our daily lives, we become too focused on, on eating, on sleeping, on our beauty, on fixing our our physical appearance on what we wear on the clothes that we that that we choose uh, to to wear during the day on uh, the kind of uh, 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 accessories we put on ourselves uh, we, we 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 put a lot of effort we put a lot of attention in doing those things yet we forget the times that we need to pray the times that we need to speak with God, the times that we need to avail of the sacraments, the times that we, we uh, try to avoid temptation, the times when we, uh, uh, during the day when we can practice virtues. Okay? We tend to be oblivious about those things. We tend to forget about sin. We tend to forget about our own tendencies to sin. We tend to forget about the hunger that our soul feels for God. Because we are too focused on the things that are material, the things that are for our bodily comfort, for our bodily satisfaction, okay? for our appearance, for the external things. And we forget that the internal uh, disposition of the soul is more important than anything else. And you know... Uh, we have the fifth commandment, right? The fifth commandment says, thou shalt, not kill. thou shalt not kill. Okay. But that is the extreme, the extreme proposition, okay, of what we may or may not do with the body. On the, on the flip side of that, okay, on the flip side of that is a prescription to take care of our bodies. Killing it is the extreme, right? On, but, before we even reach that kind of a sin, okay, there are smaller uh, 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 sins and prescriptions that we have to live by in order to assure that our body does not perish. And what is that? Well, we try to take precaution about uh, not to get sick, right? We try to eat well. We try to eat good food and not junk food. Okay? We, uh, we, we, we bathe ourselves. We clean our bodies. Okay? We take good care of our bodies. That is all part of the fifth commandment. Okay? So in other words, our Lord is teaching us that yes, it's important to take care of our bodies. We have a commandment for it. He has a commandment for it so that we take care of our bodies and make sure we do. But again, in the hierarchy of things, well, it's only in the fifth, number five commandment. Even the arrangement of these commandments has a hierarchy, Right? The first commandment is, what? I am the Lord thy God, right? Thou shalt not have false gods before me, right? And then you have the things related to worship of God, right? And then you have the things related to uh, your parents and, and you see. So there's a hierarchy even in the commandments we live. In the end, in this hierarchy of the commandments, 
things related to our spiritual goods take precedence over the care of our bodies. Okay? So let us not lose that priority. And you know what? In this pandemic situation, <laughs> I think that's what a lot of people forget. Okay? Uh, uh, people are living in fear. Fear of what? As I've said many times, it's not so much the fear of getting the virus. I think it's fear of dying because people are not prepared to die because they have not taken good care of their spiritual health to begin with. That is why they are afraid of contracting the virus that will destroy them potentially physically. See, So you see, even that fear that people feel <laughs> is not so much a consequence of a material uh, 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 kind of fear. It is, it is a spiritual fear. Okay? Because it's the fear of dying. It's the fear of losing this life and not knowing where they're going next or not knowing what's beyond this material existence. Okay? Well, let us focus on eternity. Let us focus on the afterlife as we take care of this life. Okay? Because this, part, this life is part of the journey that we are undertaking to get to heaven. But let us not lose sight of the destination. The destination is heaven. It's eternal life with God. How are we living this life to prepare for that? Okay? How are we living this life to prepare for that eternal destiny? And the only way we're going to get there is if we prioritize our supernatural uh, uh, health and well-being now. Our spiritual health and well-being now. And not to relegate it as, as a second priority. Not to, not to dismiss it like, oh, it's not important now. I need to, I need to make money. Oh, uh, I need to look pretty. I need to look beautiful. I need to, uh, uh, um, you know, <laughs> attend to the things of this world. Yeah, yes, of course you have to. But without losing sight of the more important things in life. And what is that? Your relationship with God. The soul, the goods of the soul are more important than the goods of the body. Okay, that's it for us, folks. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Bye.